first we would like to download and install VS Code. So please go to the internet browser and just type VS Code and download it from the website. I download it as a file. You can do it as you like to do it and just install it. And that's it. Now, the next step. We would like to download extractandplace.net. So let's do it. Um, go to the browser, type .net, go to the uh, website and download it. Okay. Now I choose to use manual downloading. It may prevent issues. So it's better to do it like that. Um, I recommend you to do the exact as I do. Now I need to check what version am I using. So you can see I'm using this command to see and it's x64. So I'm going to download the exact same version I need. Okay, and just download it. And now we will extract it. Yeah, we'll do it. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, we we're going to name the file we'll, we're going to extract it for as .NET and that's it. Okay, now we will place it into user share folder. So just use this very command to place it in the right place and that's it. Now we will add .NET into the path variable in Linux. So we need to find this file in our computer. Now, if you don't have this file, then write in the comment. I will check this thing and I will see what to do with your computer. But it, you're supposed to have this file. Now, go to the very end of this file and add this very line. Okay, this line is very important. We need it in order to see the .NET. The computer don't know where the .NET is. We need to tell him where is it. So we're using this very comment to show the computer where we've placed our .NET file. So just do it and save this file. And now I want you to close terminal, open it again and write .NET version. If you see the version, it's great. You don't it great. If you don't, write in the comment, I want to see your exact issue and just write below and I will check it out. Uh, now we need to download the extractions for Visual Studio Code C Sharp. Download it. You can see we download it now. After we done it, we just need to create a project. Just see what I'm doing here. I'm just creating a very simple console version of project. Very, very simple, not something that complicated. Just to see it's working and that's good. Now we're going to just type new project. And wait a minute. And okay. The computer want me to type a password. Just type a password, remember it, and that's it. Sometimes you will need to type a password, sometimes you won't. Uh, okay. Um, we'll do it again. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Console app. And type in the name. Okay. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. And we see. Yeah. We see it here. We have this application here. We just need to open the code and we can run it. So just see it. And yep, it's running. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, and we can see hello world. Yeah, exactly as well as we expect it to be. Um, now we can also run it without debugger, just like that. 
and that's it okay now I want to show you a little bit more complicated uh, program not that big an issue but just see it we type the number and just say yes okay you've typed this number okay now we can also uh, run it without a debugger exactly like that and okay good luck with your application and that's it goodbye now one more thing you can see we have a launch a file in our project so you can edit it and add some thing to your project if you want um, you don't really need to do it but if you want you have a launch file so just for knowing